Hello everyone, and welcome back to another session of D&D 5e. So, my name is Spooky. I go by she, her pronouns, uh, and I play Amelia, the dwarf, forgot which variant, um, and Obsidian, the fire genasi monk. Also, Amelia is a wizard. Anyways, uh, next person, which is Mio. Hi, I'm Mio. He, him pronouns. I play Barmos Quiet, the tiefling seeker. And then Maya. Oh, I'm Maya Stalamore, and I play Rose Lohengram, the noble bird person cleric. Noble bird person. Uh, and that leaves me. I am, uh, I'm Scouse the Mouse, the uh, Hill Dwarf Druid. You, you folks can call me Cornbread. Um, yeah. Excellent. All right. So we left, last left off, being in a tavern. Barmos had drank some poison. <laughs> And God, oh, what? and see, Scouts, nice. not Barmos. I'm sorry. I the would, the I two names. The crisis of poison. <laughs> sorry, my bad. I'm, I'm no, putting my experiences in your all said. Um, <laughs> but yeah, the names uh, confuse me because I'm bad at them. So, uh, you all sat down for the night. Then woke up to some breakfast. And I think all of you were eating, if I'm remembering correctly. I think, if I'm not mistaken, where we exactly stopped was going to sleep. I don't know if we moved on to like breakfast stuff, but yeah, we can we can just say that everyone went to went woke up and did did food stuffs. Oh, okay. Well, assuming there isn't anything anyone wants to do not not really that's outside of like things that i'd always be doing by like throwing leaves through shit okay all right so as the night progresses you all wake up the sunlight cresting through your windows as it brushes against your face forcing you to wake up it is currently 7.45 in the morning. You smell the fresh smell of breakfast down the hall. It is your day. What would you like to do? First we need to uh, probably regroup. Is Scouse hungover? Oh, yes. You drank poison. poison. Well, I don't think there's any hangover to have. Well, no. Just, I, just reeling from the uh, the after effect. I, I wouldn't say so, it's a hangover, but I would definitely say it's like your body's reaction to getting over the... Exhausted, fatigued. Yes, definitely fatigued. <laughs> and a massive stomach ache. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Wow, well, you're finally up. You know, you know, I don't remember anything. And that... That's probably good. a good thing. Um, do you know what I drank? All I remember was walking into the tavern. And then I asked for something... And they just they asked for their strongest thing, which happened to be poison, by the way. I literal what? poison. The, uh, no. Well, al alcohol is a poison. No, I understand. But I whatever that what, 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 did they spike it? What do you mean? No, it was just straight up poison. What oh fuck. You I... asked for your strongest thing. I think I might stop drinking. No, is, no, you won't. <laughs> you 
don't know that, but that was profoundly bad. Um, You're AJ. lucky to still be alive. Um, I actually uh, wanted to... I was planning on yesterday discussing with you about that, that staff thing that poked me in the butt, but I didn't exactly get around to it. For that exact reason, do you still have it? Of course. It's still in my sack. Do you know what it does? No, I know not wh where it's from either, try as I might. Fuck. You might want to uh, talk to small nerd person <laughs> about uh, about deriving some meaning from that. She she's also booky like you are. Might have uh, some answers there, or at least you guys can work like do a a corroboration. I think you guys call it. But in any case, I will be I'm investigating gonna go... the staff. Worry not. Yeah, j just look at I. I would not be able to help you, but I think she could. So I would point you in that direction, and um, also, um, have you tried using it yet? No, it's uh, <laughs> too dangerous to try something like that. Are you sure? <laughs> if it explodes if I... in my face, I'm taking you with me. What if I did it? Oh, no. Yeah, I mean... no, I think I'll just go and research it. Okay, well, yeah, you do that. I, I just wanted to put the idea in your head, you know. You know, pro bono, you know, just, just, just maybe. Maybe we just... Trial, you know, an experiment. It's an experiment, right? That's a terrible experiment. Well, you know, I was just trying to help. Um. In any case, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go join the others. You should probably do the same thing. I'm gonna walk out and go back toward the uh, the bar, the bar area. Okay. So you make your way out to the bar area, and by now, I want to say everyone else has woken up. Um, they're all just getting their selection of foods, and it's still in like the buffet style. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Um, how's it going, folks? Um, I was made aware of what happened last night. I'm going to apologize, but I'm not really going to apologize. That was fun. I mean, you survived drinking poison. I don't know what to say about that. I mean, people survive poison all the time. That wasn't the fun part. I, then... I don't know if I've ever met anyone else that's ever survived poison before, but I'm sure it's not that it's not that deep. It's not it's not extraordinary. In any case, um, have we uh, surveyed the food? Is it, like good food. Well, it's pretty good. Needs a little burnt though like that I mean you take what you got mm. I'm, yeah. gonna, I'm gonna look around and see if I can't find the goblin that I talked to earlier hey uh, uh, Thomas um, that wasn't your name your name was your name was smaller than that <laughs> it was Todd <laughs> but Anyway, um, that was, I don't remember a lot of yesterday, but I remember, I remember you being a cool guy. Um, what'd you, what'd you make, what'd you make this morning? 
What do you mean? What should I make? The breakfast food. The what's what's for what's for eats? Ah, uh, so I got some. I got some bacon. I got some ham, toast, uh, stale bread, mm, fruit. That, this sounds great, buddy. Um, how much? How much for a plate? How much for a plate? For you, let's see. Uh, we'll do seven copper. That is a good price. I count out seven copper pieces and I uh, lay it down on the table. Thanks, pal. Um, my God, I everything hurts. I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy this. Excellent. Also, there's something I would like to mention. Uh, Obsidian for the breakfast has uh, also paid for it this time. Perfect. Um, well, fuck, I'm just gonna leave that there anyway. That's... Coppers are uh, nothing. You, you just, just take it. I, at this point, I don't care what happens anymore. That was maybe the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me in my life. I don't know. It was pretty fucking sick. <laughs> but, li li listen, listen. We... I have never, ever been intoxicated the way that that happened and so we're not i'm not i just hope you haven't tried to put a, any like history in that i just hope you haven't written my name anywhere because that would be bad uh you mean he's like like this and then he points uh, to a wall behind him oh, <laughs> and and, and just in like charcoal he's got on the wall crazy oh. man um crazy man That's scouts gross. you're famous oh god he like rubs his temple um we'll just deal with it uh, that's fine no um fuck i'm just gonna eat i'm just he just like shoves a handful of whatever is on the plate, just a random glob of just assorted food into his mouth and tries his best to just swallow any feeling that he has. Oh my god. <laughs> As one probably I would, I would imagine. Um, he's just gonna kinda go jump to the back and, and do some stuff. But as you all are in setting and enjoying your food, um, I assume Barmouse comes out? Yeah. Definitely. Okay. So, um, yeah. You all uh, finish your food, and you are free to do whatever you like. That is a good thing to bring up. What was the plan here again? I think we were supposed to pick up on where we left off in Al Alverfell from uh, from before. We, we, we need to uh, we need to know more. We need, the prophecy we need of the, the world's end and the yeah. staff. Yeah, 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 yeah. We need the nerds on the job. I know, I know. I, I'm, a, I'm up to speed. Um... That, I guess, is where we need to go next, and uh, where we need to find out where to go. Um, I can get. I'm good. I'm in good with the goblin guy. I'll I'll ask him some questions. <laughs> I'm gonna after I'm done eating. I'm gonna walk and sit on the bar stool again. Hey, uh, hey, uh, Todd. Thanks for reminding me your name. It, it was very. I remember hearing it for a distinct second before. Um, before everything happened, um, we um, we were in we were in cahoots. We are trying to uh, find out some things about a uh, a phenomenon. 
concerning a uh, some kind of forgotten god sort of thing. Do you know where that sort of thing might be researched? Uh, well, you know. <laughs> um, that's a good question. Honestly, my best advice is go find the one person with the fanciest clothes. It's the best I can guess. That is so right. I d we actually did something very similar when I was back up in my old place. We just I just looked for the biggest building. <laughs> that is a line of thinking I do. So, uh, I think you're on the right track, pal. In any case, I um that is a good step in the right direction. All right. And then I I sort of st t step off the stool, walk back to the table that we're at, and I'm like, um, this guy has as much of a clue as I do. Which is not a lot of a clue. Great, let's go out and investigate. I'm told we should look for the guy with the nicest looking clothes. So, we could probably do that. That's... Considering it's an arcane city, there's probably going to be a lot of people like that. That's yeah, really big. You gotta find, like, the nicest clothes. The ones that have, like, gold inlays and the ones that are seamed really well, you know? Not that I know anything about fashion stuff, you know? I mean, I don't know much about cloth making, so I couldn't really say. But, you know, I did work for a king back in Alvarfell, so... It'd probably help. Perhaps it would be best to hail one of the guards for directions. Mm, that sounds like a better idea. I mean, if we got, if we got ideas, we got ideas. All right, let's get going then. We step out and saunter our way toward a guard. All right. <laughs> So you step out and you you do some looking, but uh, it doesn't it doesn't take you too long to find the guard just kind of standing there, you know, on his post. Excuse me, what can I help you with? Good sir, we're uh, looking for a. Academy of sorts? An academy, yes. Yes, there, there's one just directly down the road. Though you aren't applying for there, are you? No, of course not. I'm seeking information. Well, that becomes a little complicated. Usually those are... It's restricted to students only and practitioners. So, um. Is there a way we might get special permission? Well, if I had to say, you gave a good enough reason, I suppose anyone could let you in. Well, assuming they watched you, obviously. Well, I Thank guess you. we gotta we gotta talk to a higher up. Anyone uh, good in social circles? <laughs> I mean, I'm okay with talking to people, but not amazing at it. I, I, I get the I get the feeling, sister. <laughs> it would probably be best if uh, Milady Rose would be. A communicating with them yeah just just tell them I, I have a lot of money or something just uh just just open up your coin purse i'm sure they'll let you in oh actually amelia changes their mind she has an eight in her intelligence score so we're just gonna ignore that she said that intelligence <laughs> score or wait charisma eight score? in intelligence no not intelligence not intelligence uh, the, the, the charisma uh -huh. charisma my bad, I, my thought, bad. I thought you made a paper wizard for a second wizard would be a terrible idea <laughs> No, 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 no. Actually, no. I think now that I think about it, the dumb wizard is a great idea. Let's go with that. Oh my god. <laughs> he 
brain wizard time. <laughs> Dumbbell door. Anyways. No. <laughs> All strength based wizard name him Dumbbell door. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway. It would probably be best for uh, Rose to be seeking these permissions. Sorry. Do, 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 does your name would you does that have like special privileges here? Do you just like is it like a is it like a code? Is it just like hey I'm Lo von Lohengram question mark and then it just goes through? Is, is it like that? Possibly. God I hope so. Um it, I have some other ideas in case that doesn't go well, but I hope that goes well. Sounds good. Mm, well, if that doesn't go well, if this wasn't one of your plans, then I have got one too. Does your plan involve turning into a rat and sneaking in? Mm, well, considering I can't do that, no. Then you, they, we, our plans are different. It than... kind of involves, I don't know, acting as if I were a practitioner or something. Ooh, disguise. Yeah. Like a, like a spider. Like good idea to me. <laughs> Better than transforming to a rat, considering I can't. Anyways. <laughs> okay. I guess plan number one, let's go to the academy. All right. So you all head to the academy, and as you're walking, you see these two gigantic doors. Um, they have a bunch of... Uh, it, it looks as, almost as if, like, stained glass on a church does, but if it were just, like, made out of solid steel. Really cool stuff. Um, Very well crafted. Yeah. And there is uh, two guards standing on uh, either side of the doors. And they meet you and just uh, speak. Halt. What is your purpose? This is my you. <laughs> Yeah, say your cheat code. Say your cheat code. <laughs> up, up, down, down, Hello. left, right. This is Rose von Lohengram from... I forget the town I'm from. That place. Uh, Let me look on the map. <laughs> it's just off screen. I can't read it. Uh, it it's a... Well, a... Like Sadia or something. Yeah, something like that. Sorry. The moment that moment when you've been away for so long you forgot the name of your town okay <laughs> <laughs> same thing happens uh i am here to do some research about some recent phenomenon in the region mostly regarding fog and stuff so if you would allow me through and my compatriots that would be appreciated well is that so then i i, I apologize um, I can let you through here, though I'm not quite sure if they, how far they will let you in, since it is not my place to dictate such things, though you are free to enter. As I, the two guards, open up the gates, letting you all go in. Step one, let's go. Mission progressing. <laughs> Mission progressing. Uh, Checkpoint. <laughs> as you enter the gates, you are met with a beautiful courtyard. Uh, on both sides of you are just a bunch of flowers and crops and some people tending to them. A few people are picking them and like children are just running around playing, chasing each other. But as you step forward, um, you notice a door which has uh, windows on all sides, which is like, look at a door and imagine like 
a window on the entire outside of that. Okay. Besides the door frame. It's that. And you see a spiral staircase that leads upwards. Alrighty, um, where do we think the important shit's at? Or do you think we should, like, fan out? Well, if we do split up, they might not believe you if you tell them who, who let you in and stuff, so. It would split be up well. too. <laughs> to find the headmaster, I believe. Well, I mean, yeah. Just find someone but, to be a know, guide would probably be the best. Yes. If I were to not look like anything, I could go wherever I wanted. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you could. I could. I could rat time, you know? Or spiders. <laughs> I don't you know. You wouldn't be able to open the books if you were a spider. <laughs> yeah, but it's really not a matter of getting in. <laughs> yeah, but once you're in... Then how do you get out? Uh, yeah. I turn into a spider again. <laughs> <laughs> you, Easy. You, you spider, then you unspider, and then you spider again. <laughs> it's possible. That... Truly. We have some defenses against this kind of thing, though, since... Yeah, but who's ever heard of a druid before? I mean, it's like... And not that it isn't magical, but it's more nature-based arcana. So I would imagine, like, that sort of thing is not as... Uh, well studied. Yeah. It's another issue of, like, culture versus... Druidic culture is not a... It's, you'll be surprised how little people have defenses against a spider moving from room to room. I mean, generally, they don't, you know, they don't see it. Unless I get zapped by some kind of glyph of warding in the vents or something. <laughs> that would suck. And by suck, I mean I would die. But... <laughs> well, you would actually just revert where you would revert, but yes. Yeah, but the spider has one hit point. <laughs> and I would be taking every other hit point. True. <laughs> and that would be bad. Indeed. All right. In any case, I think it's just move us moving as a collective. Do you want to go upstairs? Currently, the only thing to do is go upstairs because it's just a corridor with the stairs and there's nothing else around you other than the back door. Well, there we go. We go upstairs. <laughs> it's fine, <laughs> So you all head up the stairs, and as you, uh, as you go up, you're, you're facing a, like, desk almost, but it's like standing. And, and by standing, I mean levitating. It's in the air. Yes, it is in the air. And there's a person behind it just kind of uh, writing away on a piece of paper. Are they also levitating? No. You can see their feet. And they're touching the ground. Such an extravagant use of magic. It seems pointless. They have back problems, that's all it is. They don't want to bend down. Uh... <laughs> It's like a standing desk, but for <laughs> wizards. <laughs> Alrighty, Rose, go get him. Okay. Ahem. Good sir. Or madam. <laughs> it is a madam. Okay. <laughs> Should have specified my ad. <laughs> uh, I am Rose Von Lohengram. Visiting to find relevant texts regarding certain phenomenon that had recently happened, such as fog and other stuff like that. You know, fog nominons. <laughs> yeah. As my compatriot, compatriot said. Uh, would you want to guide us to where that would information on we could acquire on that could be acquired? Yes. <laughs> uh... 
Well, be right back. To be quite honest, I don't really handle that sort of thing. Though I could get someone for you, but see, I'm I'm just a student here. Ah, oh, could you point us in the right direction then, perhaps? Well, of course, I can um show you to my teacher. Right this way. She guides all of you uh, to this, like, back room. It looks like it's filled with just all sorts of arcana it, machines. Uh, like, like a crystal ball, you know, you have your... Uh, Nerd shit, I yeah. get it. Pretty much. That that's the best way I can explain nerd shit. Welcome back. Uh and uh standing there is a older man, mostly grey hair, um, with like some interesting looking glasses, that's all I can say. He's, he's got them spectacles, I got it. He's yeah. got them Dumbledore look. Got them fucking Dumbledore glasses. <laughs> Not Dumbledore, you know, those are two different people. But... <laughs> Alrighty, bros. Um, this, is ta this is take three. You got this. Ah. Uh, hem. Hello there. I am Rose Ron Lohair Graham. I am here to look up information regarding recent fog phenomena, you know, fog phenomenon and world ending prophecies and stuff. So if you could guide us to the place where we can get information on such things, that would be appreciated. Ron Lohan Graham, you say? Hmm. Very mysterious. It's been a very long time since I've heard the name of that. Interesting. You say you're looking for information on a... Spognomena? Yeah, that's, uh... That's actually the name I gave it. Um, um, there's a... There's a deity. Uh, Shim... Shim... Shimmer. Shim... We Shimmer. seek the prophecies of end times. Yeah, that one. Shimal. Sh 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 yeah, <laughs> Shimal. <laughs> so he, at hearing this, he just kind of like leans back in his chair and sits there and ponders for a moment. Shimal. Well, it's it's been quite a while actually since I've heard anything about Shimal. However, we have heard things about Vogue, uh, various things recently. Actually, um, many people saying that they've had dreams of being helpless, uh, unable to do anything, experiencing their worst fears, along those lines, essentially. Is is this what you're speaking of? Yes. Yeah, something like that. Um, that's actually the the weird shit was actually the reason why we came here, or the reason why we got here anyway. Uh, shit got real bad, and um, boat didn't boat well. Um, we we found the fog. It went real bad. We tried to figure out what happened. We kind of drew an association with the the Shamal person. Then we went up to uh, Alverfell. It went got even worse there as we got tied up in a conspiracy. And now we're here. <laughs> right. It, it, it was actually quite a bit of folk in this area about what was happening in Alverfell. We sent a few of ours to assist the king in the matters. So, we are aware of that situation. Now, you said you experienced this fog for yourself. Might I ask what happened? The 
black fog passed through our ship as it was uh, traveling from Vinegroth. Is that so? Now, any sort of hallucinations along those lines? Not Dreams, only hallucinations. Zombies. Oh. There are a couple things that are like that fall in hallucination category. Although it's mostly just a dream thing. At least for me. I don't know about these folks. Any I don't know we about that. Sort of but. sign of possession. Yeah. yeah. Um they kinda I think they were dead. And then they stopped being dead. And then tried to stab uh Rose over there. And then we pushed him off the boat. We? <laughs> uh, um, someone pushed him off the boat. I think that might have been me. Royally. Yes. I, that was either me, that was it was me or somebody else. But there was some pushing off the boat. And then I'm getting stuck on the details. It was weird. Interesting. We've had a few people saying things along the lines of the fog came and they seen visions, they would fall asleep. Though it very much varies, the, the very most uncommon was the possession. Has it ever happened before? Well, it's only happened to two people that I know of that have came over here. Including us or excluding us? Including. So there's one other scenario. Yes, that is correct. Do you know where? Well, as of where they are right now, no. We have no idea. All we know is that we were sent some inf information, uh, not in the physical means. Our like came. A telepathic message? It, essentially, yes. Can't you can speak with your mind? Yes. Scouts. The... <laughs> Dude. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Glad to love it. A anyway, um... Where was I again? I feel like we were talking about something very important a second ago. Yes, I, you were talking about the fog and how you were the other case on oh, possession. Oh yeah, fog, fog. Um, yeah, um, let's see. Um, do you know anything else important that might, um, elucidate us on where problem solving can occur? Well, still most of the information that we know is sparse. Given the, the time that it started happening was only really... A year ago, there there was talk of a fog in the past that would have different effects. Though, I mean, aside from normal fog, that is. Indeed, I came to such a conclusion myself. It's very odd. I suspect that the same fog. Is that so? Why do you believe that to be so? Well, considering, uh... Hang on, let me pull up my notes. Alright. Uh, something about a scorned lover. Uh... Shamal lady had a was husband. Once goddess of fertility. And then she, like, killed her husband or something. And then... Right. She got real salty about it. Well... It was a whole thing. We don't have a lot of information on... Necessarily... 
religious details. Yes, most of our... You would have a, a book on end-time prophecies, wouldn't you? Mm. Most of the end-time prophecies we don't consider to be uh, truthful, or at the very least... Logical? Yes. Though, the few that we do have, um, we tend to um, not let those uh, into the public eye. For Discard. safety measures. Ah, so they're like it's really bad. if we get our hands on one of them. Your hands on one? It, I mean, no offense, but the contents of this, I even I was told not to look at. It's probably one of those like if you look at it, it's gonna scar you for life sort of things. Maybe it'll hurt your maybe it'll hurt your brain or something. Maybe it's got mind power. All I was basically told was the contents of this sent the man that seemed mad. I can take it. Damn. Do you... <laughs> he literally said I'm built different. <laughs> I'm not quite sure that this is the safest. You know what's bad with the the grant the fucking lead wizard is like that's a bad idea. <laughs> yep. Knowledge well, both large and small is meant to be imparted. You know this full well as a uh, leader of this academy. He just kind of looks down at the ground, just kind of thinking for a bit. And you're sure of this? I am certain that we will find the answers we seek within those tomes. May I ask you one more thing? Before you risk your sanity in doing so. Do you like your egg scrambled or sunny side up? Neither. <laughs> Just curious. Over easy. Good. Just, uh... I was getting a little bored of the nerd talk. When to ask. <laughs> Gotta ask have some variety. All that I want to ask you is that if you are certain this knowledge is worth your sanity, Allow me to impart to you a story. Very well. It's lore drop time. I'm going to open my notes real quick. All right. Take your time. Let me know whenever everyone's ready. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready when you are. <laughs> okay. A long time back. My teacher, actually. He... In the very same manner, learned about all sorts of knowledge, the arcane, on um, any sort of historical event he can get his hands on. He was very confident in his abilities, and he, he was always looking to learn more, and he didn't exactly care the cost of it. Not knowing at the time, he went out on an adventure. And he would find one of these very tomes. In reporting it to his higher ups, he was granted permission to look inside of the contents. He had written down some notes. Events that were supposed to happen 
mere 10 years from the current time. All of them came through. However, what was more jarring is that as he started reading, he began speaking in a language that even he didn't know. And soon after that, he fell to the ground on all fours and started screaming er erratically. And ever since then, that home has not been open, said to be forbidden. So then I ask of you, if you do this, you must know the true cost of what you're asking. understand are you are you sure that still sounds like a good idea that sounds like your brain melted <laughs> I don't know. saving the world with the shared knowledge then I'm willing to accept the cost damn we've done a Besides, lot of stupid shit but Anybody this else is something. Make a yeah, you know that's that's fair <laughs> enough. Um, Anyways, as you were saying, uh, Brahma, sorry. Besides, anybody else would make a mistake. Wow, no need to get so high and mighty now, but you know, philosophical. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He then. Um, Shakes his head for a moment. Please wait one moment. There is someone uh, I need to grab first. Um, Very well. Okay. Then he, uh, he goes to leave. In about ten minutes of waiting, you begin to grow tired of waiting until you hear the door slowly open. Beside of him is an elderly woman. Um, some really dark black hair that's kind of tied up into dreads. Little bits of gray into it as well, though hers more so. This this is the headmaster. Only under this circumstance may you truly be able to do this under supervision. Past this point, there is nothing I can do to help you, nor can she. We are mainly here to observe and document. God, I love it when bad ideas turn into experiments. <laughs> so, as I, the man steps aside, the elderly woman pulls out like this wrapped tome, and it's just like wrapped in a blanket, essentially. Like a silk blanket. One probably doesn't even have to use detect magic to tell that that stuff is. Oh yeah. The with it. You, no, you feel it as soon as it entered the room. You didn't have to think about it. It just is. Yeah. Which is not good. <laughs> but as as she unwraps the the tome. She um, hands the silk off to the man, and he just holds on to it. And she goes up to you. You're very sure of this. Ma'am, I don't think he's ever been more sure of anything in his life. I already tried to tell him not to do it. Oh, I understand. In that case, may whatever God you pray to save your soul. 
she hands the book off to you. And as you hold it in your hands, you get this feeling like this, like this book is attached to something in a way. You hear a ringing in the back of your head. What would you like to do? Let's get started quickly. I'm going to open my journal. Oh, he's just set it to the side. Okay. Then I'll set the book down on, say, like some sort of pedestal for quick uh, page flipping. Yes. He's getting in the nerd mode. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm opening the tome. All right. So as you open up the tome, they're weathered pages. They all look yellowed, as if someone like was heavily smoking around them. The ink, though, it's very odd because it doesn't look like an ink you would see normally. Um, I'm getting called, and I, I, I don't know why. Probably blood, probably something else. That yeah. Bad. Give me one second while I have to answer this call, sorry. You got it. Now, if it comes to it, I think I can cast Guidance to help you do something. Guidance would give, you, give him a 1d4 on, like, ability checks and things like that. I right. think so that that's actually about... probably would be useful, actually. Investigation. Yeah. So let me know when you want that. I would definitely mention... I would definitely just, like, mention that you cast that before he gets into his business. Because there might be a point where it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like it's coming up fast. He is opening that book very fast. The only thing I can really do is I can stop you, I can hold you down if you go mad. That's the only thing I can help you with. Right. I don't have support spells. <sighs> okay, I have returned. <laughs> Welcome back. All right. I kind of had a feeling that was going to happen. Anyways. I am casting guidance so that if he needs any help doing it. And what does guidance do exactly? Guidance gives a plus 1d4 for a minute on ability checks. Mm, you're going to need that. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. But That's as... not ominous. Time you, to investigate. You look at the ink on this paper, and again, as I said, it, it doesn't look like common ink that you would see. It looks like something. It's of a darker color, but some bits are like red in areas. It's like. It's like a dark red, so to speak. Prince. But anyways, I, you read through the book and you see they're talking about events of the past that you know, all know to be true, shattering of parts of the, the world in future events. <laughs> as well as uh, a few notes, in fact. Almost as if someone has been there and recounts uh, experiences of said time. And you're looking at all of this and, and you're thinking to yourself, this is just so interesting. You have to know more. So you turn the next page, and then the next page, and then the page after that. Until you're met with nothing. There is no writing on the pages. Though, instead of reading, you hear something in the back of your mind. We 
whispers from beyond. It was then I saw it crawling beside me. I would have dreams of the future, of the past, all with gruesome detail. I would see women, children, men ripped apart. I would see mountains formed. I saw my own death as well as my family's. Even at night, before bed, I hear something calling to me. It calls my name. It's screeching, scratchy voice haunts my dreams. No matter where I am, no matter who's beside me, I can never escape it. Then all of your senses fade to darkness. You don't hear anything. You don't see anything. You don't feel anything. And then all of a sudden, one by one, your senses come back. But your touch is first to come back. You feel a warm breath down the back of your neck, breathing. You feel a scratch on your back. You feel like the blood is trickling down. You see your vision being un unobscured by long, grotesque fingers with gigantic nails that are covered in dried blood. You feel your head being pulled backwards as you stare at something as if a face that looks mostly decayed but his eyes that are sunken in focus on you and as you feel that gaze you feel chills all down your spine. You smell a horrific smell of death. As you are brought back, make for me a wisdom saving throw. That does not count for guidance. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't? Good luck. No. Uh, guidance works on, uh, on okay, ability I'm rolls. Two on wisdom saves. The, okay. um, the resistance is the inverse of that that works on saving throws. All right. But we'll see how it goes. I well. see. Well, you went into this knowing the Great. potential... Uh, risks to it as you see its face as you smell its slowly rotted flesh all of your senses come back to you and you feel this sickening just feeling all of your body as if you had bathed in bodies. Your mind scrambling for answers as you lay there on the floor, unable to focus on your surroundings. 
you feel a sudden impulse to scream and scream louder. No thought comes to your mind other than wanting to get out, wanting to escape. But there is no escape. You're trapped. Um, is anyone going to do anything about that? Um, damn. Yeah. Is he like writhing in any way? Uh, he's completely still. You don't even see him breathing. So would he be oh. paralyzed? He is still as a brick. That is not good. Um, uh, bird person, do you know how to do CPR? Is his heart moving? I know lesser restoration, maybe. <laughs> Um, that might work, actually. Hold on. Mm, I think it's... It might be. It says with a paralyzed. I don't know if this is paralyzation. But... <laughs> hmm. Let us I mean, see the effects of it. Yeah. You touch a creature in one disease or condition. Condition can be deafened, blinded, paralyzed, or poisoned. Okay, so it is paralysis, so you can heal that. Well, okay, I'll, I'll use that. <laughs> All right. So you heal him of his paralysis. As uh, as you're you now like... able to move, you feel yourself convulsing as if there's something inside of you that you just need to tear out. It's oh god, I think you made it in worse. your chest. Yes, I think I, I ruined it's it. It's stuck. And and you try to find something, the nearest thing to rip open into your chest and then pull it out. Oh fucking Christ. <laughs> uh, so make for me a, a perception check, if you would, Barmos. Okay, so after enough searching, you find a blade, and you Somebody pick it up. Me. Um, as, as you... soon as I notice him reaching for the blade, I am going to wild shape into a giant spider. Okay. I... <laughs> it's Listen, this sounds dumb, but hold on. I am going to use the spider's... Let me pull up the giant spider stat block. But I know he has gonna yep, shoot a web, aren't you? web attack. <laughs> I am going to attempt to bundle you up like a... I'm going to tip the straight jacket you with silk. <laughs> <laughs> He's in a sleeping Shortly bag. explain how a web attack works. It is an attack roll. So I am going to roll that real quick. All right. And uh, if I succeed... The creature is in, ensnared, and they have to make a strength save to get out of it by using an action each turn. All right. Let's see what you roll. What is uh, your armor does class? Ten, does a 10 hit? No. Your armor class is a 17, I think. I, I whip it. Uh, yeah, 17 AC. Yeah, so you miss it. I'm with it. Completely dodges out of the way as he unsheaths the blade. An obsidian just like runs over to you and is going to try to tackle you. I'm not really sure how that's going to work, but I'm just going to make it a tackle just for the sake of it. If you're trying to grapple, wow. Well, I mean, regardless uh, of what that is, well, I mean. Uh, you added that slash mark, so it just put a one. Oh, I see. One equals one. Because I. Um, yeah. To explain what's going to happen anyway, it's basically contested athletics or acrobatics. Acrobatics? So it'd be more like a check. Yeah. Uh, grappling is a challenge, like shoving is. Basically anything that changes how things are as part of an attack. Let me, let me look up the specifics real quick. Okay. 
because if it's an acrobatics, I would totally succeed. Definitely, I have a plus zero. <laughs> Let's see, uh... acrobatics. Okay, so you have a six. I'm gonna roll on my phone, which I know none of you can oh, see. Oh, you rolled an eleven. Yeah, athletics contest okay, well, another just... target's athletics or acrobatics. I'll just add the plus four to the eleven then. So, so 15, fifteen, but it still won't hit. Barmos, what would what did Barmos roll for his uh, athletics? Oh, so I, yeah, yeah. That you are currently grappled. Gotcha. Okay, as Obsidian like holds you to stop you, she says, "What the fuck is wrong with you?" Spider noises. Get it out. Get what out? What the fuck is he saying? Spider noises. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the two practitioners like currently uh go to your side uh, and like begin casting things. And even after some time to no avail, you still feel the same. The feelings don't stop. Make for me another well, wisdom feel... saving throw. While that's happening, can I roll to recharge my web? Yes, you can. I assume that oh, yeah. does. It, there we go. It's a, it's a, basically, um, there are a lot of monsters that have abilities that are like recharge five six. Basically, you roll a d six, and if it's a five or a six, you get a recharge. Okay, like so like case. dragon breath. Yeah, like dragon breath and things like that. Dragon's breath. I think the lithids have a lot of abilities around it. Yeah, the giant spiders have the same thing, and that is a recharge. Okay, but I. Uh... To Barmos, you, these feelings don't stop, but you feel like you have more control over yourself. You are almost normal, I would say. Obsidian, she kind of lowers her her guard a bit and like loosens up her grip on you. Barmas, are you okay? That book, it's tied. The the boy to something else. No it's... god nor demon. What the fuck do you mean? Spider noises. <laughs> it, it just. It, Very insightful. Imagine. Something in between. Something old. Like. Older than everything else. I don't even know what the fuck that's supposed to mean. I mean, what did you see? Like a god? A demon? I mean. If I had to translate it into words, it would be an ancient one. What the fuck? Obsidian is just going to kind of stand there for a second. I think we have to get rid of this fucking book. Well, like, burn it, or you just mean, like, throw it out the window? I mean, burn it. Something like that happened from reading it? Are you kidding me? Like, if it's, if it's got him in his grasp, maybe burning it would burn him, you know? <sighs> or what if it, I don't know, helps him? It's tied to the creature. I, I don't know how, but... Perhaps this is a part of the creature itself. 
Well, then good. If I burn it, maybe it'll be solved. You could anger the thing. Anger it, but at least you'd be, I don't know, afraid of it. Spider. Free? <laughs> no freedom. What do you mean, no freedom? Something that big does not just let go. So what? We're, we're just supposed to let this happen. Whatever the I fuck this know. is. First a fucking blog, then a weird fucking creature flying everywhere, and then now this. I mean, what, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> Scouts just clicks his pincers a couple times, like a, and then doesn't say anything else. Amelia is just gonna kind of. Go forward. I... I don't know how I feel about this. I mean... Wasn't this supposed to give us answers? I mean, what it, did you learn? It knows the answers. It... It must. It knows yeah, the answers. It won't give them up so willingly. And, I mean, wait, that's a... Maybe we can negotiate. Oh. I don't get a good feeling from I that either. I like that possibly want. I'll ask. You do not want that. I don't know if speaking to it is the good idea. I mean, look what happened to him. He was paralyzed. Oh. Are you are you sure we can't burn the book? I mean, I kind of agree with with what she said. I'm going to un spider. <laughs> and I'm going to uh sort of step in a little bit. Um I think in the grand scheme of things, um, there are a lot of things that could be done. But I think the first thing to understand is that this isn't exactly our book to burn. It's their book to burn. I know the concept of ownership isn't exactly like familiar to me since I'm used to everything being in one place. But, um, I don't know if it's a matter that we can solve. Secondly, um, I am of the, I am of the belief that, um, nature is something to be preserved. But there is also a time where things sort of play themselves out and, um, choices have to be made. And some people have made choices to open books, and some people have kept the books so that they could be open. I think that maybe, maybe it is worth whatever revelation he has afterward and then we may decide what happens to it because whatever it is doesn't seem to be done yet so um i'm gonna need you to uh knock yourself out of it nerd person and i sort of backhand him <laughs> okay 
like a like a snap out of it. Make for me a wisdom saving throw again, Bramas. Fuck. You still feel the same, the same hold over you, though not captured by it. Or enthralled by it for any means. You but still feel it close to you. <laughs> I oh. don't know if that's a good thing to draw. Um, do you feel uh, any better? Its shadow still holds part of me. Back. But I won't. I will not falter. Yeah, I don't know if that's a, big, a promise you should be making, old pal. Um... You kind of look like you're on the edge of, like, not good things. Um, I am not well understood on these sort of things, but the best we can do is um, wait and see what happens, because... It's either going to progress, or it isn't. So I think we just need to give him some time to fight it out. I I would be in favor of tying him up and watching what happens if we are in the realm of experimenting. Diseases like these aren't things that I have ever dealt with before. We need to see more symptoms before we can know a cure. The, uh, the two practitioners are standing there completely shocked. And uh, the male speaks up. You... You, you are not held by it. I mean, you were, but you weren't. Completely. This is very fascinating. Tell me what you saw. Death. Death. As in... Many, many corpses. A creature similar to an Undead, looking down upon me, revolting. Very interesting. Whispers, whispers of the one who, who, who watched before. What's the fo- What do you mean? Whoever read the book before, I heard their thoughts, their words. Hey. Talking of dreams of the future, the past, his own death, and something calling him. That does not sound good. The... I think it stopped being good as soon as he uh, started trying to stab himself. I, I realized that, but... My teacher, right before he died, he mentioned something calling to him. Is, is that the same thing? It could very well be. I know not the name of who read the book before. But it knew there was no escape. This... This does not bode well. I, 
I'm not sure if I've ever did. Don't know. If there is anything we can do to protect you. But we will try our damnedest. We'll get to the source of this. Try to figure out what it wants. And maybe we can keep your life intact. Are you willing? I am more scared of us um, yes. <laughs> knowing where we are now. What do you mean? So as I said, no matter the cost. Very well. You know what to do. Get the room ready. He looks at the, the elderly woman. And she just, like, nods understandingly. After Scott, some time. Go ahead. Take my rope. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I'll, uh... I'll make sure you don't move, big, big, big guy. I'm gonna... I take out my rope from my, my pack. I'm going to try to, uh... Restrain his... Restrain his arms, at least. So that way, way he can walk wherever he needs to go, but he won't stab himself. Okay. So he's make sure there are no tiny. many objects in the area. <laughs> you gotta get him a straight jacket. <laughs> um, at this get point, some... I'll continue. Go ahead. Get him some uh, textured socks. <laughs> <laughs> Little grippies on the bottom. <laughs> yeah, the grippy socks. <laughs> Um, please make for me another wisdom saving throw, Barmas. This is the last of the day. There we go. Hey. 15. You no longer feel the pressing, looming feeling over you. It probably still watches, but... Oh, it watches. But you don't feel oppressed by it yet. You at least feel better in knowing that its hold on you for the time is lightened. After some time, though, the lady comes back. I have prepared the room. Come right this way, everyone. You're going to have to stay here. I don't know for how long, but we need you to try to communicate with it. Be right back. All right, go ahead. I will do what I can. All right. Knowledge is to be imparted, after all. Knowledge is supposed to be imparted. Though if negotiations or whatever doesn't go as planned, you may very well end up like my teacher did. And I would hate to see that happen. So as, as you all walk for a while, you are led down a dark hall that leads into a room, a giant room that's dimly lit. There are some chains on the wall that are, look like they are supposed to hold something in place but has been kind of, I, I want to say DIY'd into a, something used to hold a person. Uh, Please, come right this way. Understood. As he 
places you on this wall to this contraption and tightens up all the chains and locks you in place. You, where normally this would feel scary, it feels safe to an extent that at least if anything happens. Nothing compared to what that beast did. Yeah. Well, I'm going to have to ask that everyone leave this room. I shall leave a device in here. Should there be any... happenings, we will be right here to observe and to help if need be. I wish you luck, friend. Has everyone... Weekly nod. Yeah, I'm, I'm, we're getting out of this bitch. Okay. <laughs> As he nods back to you, you all slowly leave the room. The door shuts and locks behind you. As you all... Oh, go ahead. I was thinking to myself, damn it, I didn't give Amelia the weird staff. <laughs> it's okay. Hey, he's probably not going to be in the cooker for too long. Who knows? One can only hope. <laughs> um, but as you all are sitting there waiting for something to happen, some word of action of Barmos saying something, Barmos, yes. you hear the same voice again. Though this time, tired. Another joins. What is your name? Barmos. So you too. have looked into things you shouldn't have. Do you feel afraid? Who wouldn't? I was too. Every day I would hear it calling to me. But the day I shredded my, my mortal form was the day I finally had peace. No more control over me. No more breathing down my neck. No more gruesome nightmares. I never wish to experience that anymore. I'm asking you, out of mercy. I could end this for you right now and save you from the hell you were going to experience. No. Is that so? The answers I seek must be known. You seek to communicate with it. Is that right? It knows what will come. I must 
find a way to stop it. Whatever it is, it's never been human. It knows only one thing. Death. Death to come in the future. Death from the past. It doesn't care about anything else. It just lives to fulfill its duty. That's all it's ever done. Whatever knowledge you're going to learn is never worth it. I don't know what it is myself. And what about you? What do you mean? Are you the one who read before? I read of it. I read the book. Were you the previous headmaster of this place? I was a practitioner. I thought I was invincible. I thought whatever knowledge I would get would only serve to benefit me. But the second I read that book, my whole outlook on life Everything changed. I no longer wish to learn anything. I just wanted peace. I will hold on to your story. Thank you. Whatever you do. Did everybody just go quiet? Or... Huh? I'm just not saying nothing. No, we're we're speaking. Are you able to hear? Maya. Hello. Hello. Are you here? Uh oh, I'm going to send. I think Maya died. No. Just asking here to rejoin. Maybe that'll work. I don't know. Welcome back. Can you hear now? Maya? Oh, hold on. Um, technical difficulties. She has fallen off the face of the earth. Oh, God. Now the others have gone mad. It's spreading. <laughs> Did she self-deafen on accident? I... No, I don't, I don't see a deafen icon. It's not that. No. Uh -huh. Could be a, a cutoff of some kind, like something got disjuncted. Well, I'm thinking because it just kind of happens sometimes. It's just like an internet thing. Oh, she left. But she's back. Oh, welcome back. Can you hear? Oh, goodness. She's typing.
Oh, goodness. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry about this. I kind of want to continue, but I also want to wait because this is like a connection thing. Well, it is between uh, Barmos and who, the uh, practitioner. Yeah, yeah, you're right. That's a good point. Okay. Well, uh... I would hold on to your story. Thank you. Whatever you do. I, I appreciate it. Whatever you do, whatever it asks of you, just know. There is always something else. If it tries to ask you something, there will always be conditions. You need to carefully word. Welcome back. Yeah, sorry. Oh. No worries. As long as you understand that, there is nothing else I can help you with. Past this... You're welcome. Past this point, this will be the last time we talk. This is all I could do. What is it? Be at peace, then. I don't think there's any peace to be had here. But thank you. I appreciate it. Immediately, as that voice stops speaking, you feel the familiar chill down your spine. And the room that was dimly lit slowly fades into complete and utter darkness. You feel a scratchy, crackly growl in your left ear and then in your right ear. Sorry, I missed that. Um, I'm just gonna just just know that it's uh, very growly and uh, whatnot, but my mic won't pick it up because it sucks. Yeah, I was having pickup issues. <laughs> yeah, I figured as much, but uh, I'm just gonna speak normally. Just use your imagination for this. Who dareth seek? knowledge about time. You hear this? I dare. Another. Yet another. To lie the same fall to me. I see in you something permanent, something 
that shall stay long past your physical form. You have something I want. What is it? I want the one thing that makes you, you. In exchange, I shall give you whatever you wish. Makes me, me. And what would that be? Inside of everyone, minus a select few, they all have something permanent, something that will stay with them. Even if their body is turned to ash. Something that you carry with you past the physical plane. I want that in exchange for your wish. You want knowledge? I have it. I've seen the future. I've seen the past. It's warlock time. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> you hear a small laugh. <laughs> So, what will it be? May I know the name of the one who seeks what I have? Hmm. I don't have a name. I am but a collector. You may only address me as such. So when will you collect? When my wish is granted? I collect before your wish is granted. I ask only that you make your wish. It is then and only then. With your permission, that I take what was rightfully mine. I accept your conditions. So be it. That feeling in your chest, the one you had, you tried to get rid of, you tried to rip it out. That uncomfortable feeling pulls out from you. And for a moment as it does, you feel lost. Unsure if you had made the right choice. Until you hear the same voice again. Now, what do you wish for? Do you feel tapping on your shoulders with long, sharp nails?
Okay, it will give you time yep. if you need to think. Yeah, hang on, I'm I'm thinking. Okay, well, in the meantime, we'll move back to everyone else. It just jump cuts to us, like, enjoying lunch. <laughs> yeah, just having, having a dinner, nice dinner break. Just having a grand time. <laughs> wow, this food is really good. <laughs> I really like this juice. God fucking damn it. <laughs> they, they have a really good, excellent food court here. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, well, that's about the best we can do. I mean, all things considered, I mean, he's probably just relaxing right now, right? It's nothing we really got to worry about. Plus, we got food. Thoughts, like he always was. Yeah, something like that. Well, I don't really know him. I can't say that. He's a he's a contemplative sort. He'll have himself sorted out in uh, in due time. Well, I'm sure he'll be okay. He knows what to a, do. He's got a good head on his shoulders. That one. Yeah. He won't do anything too far, you know. His <laughs> spirit will prevail. Yeah. Yeah. I never make rash decisions. Damn it. <laughs> he, he probably thought. If he made decisions, he probably thought them out really well. Definitely. <laughs> Whatever he did was a good idea. Are you guys insane? <laughs> no. I no? Just, I just don't know if it would be the same choice I would make in that situation. <laughs> and plus, we don't know what's happening, so... And if Scouse ever knew about it, He'd probably make fun of you. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I guess um, I guess the real goal here is to figure out what we're gonna do next. Um, Obsidian's there just. Are many, Go ahead. There are many scenarios like this that we've dealt with, where people are left without. Um. And by that I mean in a uh, stuck in a bed. Um, I guess the real choice is to decide whether to move on or stay behind. If our if our goal to solve exists beyond Barmos, or if whatever mission we're on together is stuck with him. He's saying we just ditch him? I am not saying anything. I'm saying those are the choices we have. Those are choices, I... but I... he had something he wanted to fight for, right? He wanted answers. I'm not sure if he got them. I guess I just want to put it in our heads that Whatever happens once he's done with whatever decisions he's making in there is um, was his choice to make. And we got to accept if he's stuck there and decide whether we move on or we help him through whatever step of his life he just took. No, let's say help him. He's been with us so far, right? Yeah, no, it hasn't been long, but still. If... if that's what we want, that's what we'll do. But I just wanted right. to put it that this is incomprehensible. Okay. Your wish, Barbos. All right. Back to Barmos. Barmos would look up at the creature if it's in front of him. Oh, it definitely is. I know the black fog that has been plaguing this land is in relation to a prophecy of end times. Know you that prophecy? The prophecy. 
was spread from one person to the next. Mm, let's say the validity of such claims don't hold too much water. But the fog does play a part. For the sake of what you have granted me, I will allow you two more questions. Choose wisely. Okay. Need some more time to think. So, it, so it has. So, from what I said, it has a relation between whatever it is that I've lost. A Did relation, right? a relation to what you have lost. Is is that what you're what saying? Everybody has, even after. Yeah. You're asking me as a DM. Okay. If I'm getting that right. You could understand that what they're talking about is not as if they're, I don't know, it's not as if it's a part of them necessarily, but it's something that, let's say, feeds them. That is the best way I can explain. All right. Let's see, inventory journal. In the meantime, while you think of what you are going to say next, we will jump back to the party. So right now, delicious lunch. <laughs> indeed, but the uh, the practitioners are standing close by to you all. Uh, the gentleman looks a bit frantic and the elderly woman is just standing there kind of taking a contemplative stance she's lost in thought a bit so okay. all right i got my second one then oh okay <laughs> all right back to you then I need knowledge on the prophecy of the end times itself. Mm. Care to be specific? Ah. Well, I have no knowledge on the prophecy, only that the Black Fog had relation to it. But what was that prophecy? The prophecy in relation to the Black Fog. Well, let's say it was spread by someone closely related to the cause. She looks at you in this wicked, blackened teeth smile. You can see the saliva drip from her mouth. It's just black like tar. Her sunken eyes meet yours. Next question. Final question. 
does this have to do with the death of Shamal the goddess? Shamal did not have the ability to keep up any power after her death. This isn't Shamal's power. It's something else. Goodbye, Barmos. Your vision comes back to you. You see, you feel everything. That hold on you is no longer there. You breathe a bit of fresh air. You feel like you've lost something important to you. Will you ever be able to get it back? You don't know. What would you like to do? Mm. That's quite an important piece of information. Perhaps this was worth it. Uh, just to note, uh, you can make a bunch of noise if you would wish to escape. If so. Yeah, all right. I'll uh, sh uh, wiggle the chains, I guess. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out of here. Uh, as you wiggle the chains, uh, you see the magical device close to you kind of like light up a bit. And all of you at once hear the rattling of chains. The two practitioners perk up and say, we need to go. Progress, it sounds like. So... Gone crazy in there, Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> all well, of you. One way or another, I guess something solved. <laughs> all of you rush up, and uh, you open up the door, and there is Barmos. I uh, I would like everyone to make for me a perception check, if you would. Seventeen. I'm doing 3d20s because the practitioners and the, or no, four, because I'm playing two characters. Okay, so two of them don't know dark shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and the other two get kind of an idea. Hey, Rose and I, we, we, see, we see good stuff, though. Definitely. <laughs> so definitely Scouse and Maya, you notice... Barmos's eyes look a bit sunken. And like the life in them seem to have faded a bit. But otherwise, um, he, he looks fine. Um, <laughs> yeah, we should get him something to eat. Come on, pal. Let's, uh, let's get you out of there and uh, get you some lunch. On me this time. You, uh, I think you've been through a lot. <laughs> I feel like I've been through a lot. You look like you've been through a lot. <laughs> you, know, you look, you look, oh you look a bit pale. Yes, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try uh, unbinding him, or helping the others unbind him the best I can. Easy then, enough. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna go take him somewhere to eat. <laughs> All right, so you unbind Barmos and uh, the two practitioners I uh, stand there in front of you, Barmos. The man speaks up. What, what happened? Did you see anything? Did you manage to speak with this being? Yes. Do you mind? A collector. A collector. In 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 like 
like what sense? What did it collect? What made me me? Do something that goes on beyond death. You say that, and his eyes suddenly glow, grow like dark as he looks away. I'm so sorry. I accepted the cost. I understand. Just know that you're... You and all your friends are free to anything we have here. Again, uh, I'm so sorry. As he starts tearing up. Do not be, do not feel sorrow for me. All right. It will help not. This was your decision. Much like your, the previous practitioner. He kind of winces a bit. You, you're right. I saw, I heard him warning me. You hurt him. Yes. What did he say? He warned me about the information not being worth it. I understand. Thank you. I'm sure he's at peace now. Or at least not as in pain. I certainly hope so. I'm sorry, but I, I must go. As he walks away slowly. Leaves the room. What would you all like to do? Alright, let's get something to eat. I'm starved. That is for sure. Shall we go back to the inn that we were at? I mean... Oh yeah, that sounds good. So you all head oh, back. Nice. Oh, wait, hang on. Huh? I'm going to uh, pull out the staff for my backpack. I need some information on this, Mr. Uh, uh, hang up, practitioner. The older lady is the only one there. The oh, man the had lady. left. Headmaster. Yes. Seek information upon the staff. I, I can look at this for you. It'll Thank only you. take a moment. I'm not really sure how long the uh, actual spell lasts, but she uh, casts Identify. Is it, she spending a spell slot? Yes, she's spending a spell slot. It's going to be a minute. Okay. So she sits there for a minute and looks at you. Appears like it's a remnant of some sort of ceremonial item, though the important piece is missing. Its original use was to purify something. But, I mean, without the Orb focus, it's essentially useless. 
Sounds like just what we needed about this time. Purification. Most likely for something to do with the gray grass. Or the faded uh, soil. <laughs> one, one might be able to ascertain. Who knows? Alrighty. Um, Time for eats. I think <laughs> yeah. I think I'm going to uh I've already eaten. I'm probably gonna go see if I can't make messages and find us a contact. For the king's sake, to update on what has happened. Hey, uh, Amelia pops up. Actually I can send him a message. Well, uh, that'd be actually be extremely convenient. Um, I mean, that's why I'm here. I listen. You gotta understand the details. Not my specialty. That was left to uh, uh, me. Yeah. Um, me is a strong word at this point. Oh. I. Uh, a lot of my practice doesn't really see you as a person. But I will still call you Barbos. In any case, just let him know what has happened. And, um, I will take the opportunity to make a bit of a personal stop. All right. She nods to you and gets to communicating on her own. Scouse is going to step out of the the big school building and is going to try to find the nearest forested area, anything naturey really, and is going to spend a good thirty minutes sitting down and communing with uh with Oberon. Not really saying anything, just letting everything letting everything out in med in a meditative sort of way. Not really expecting to hear to be heard, but just to say. And is um not really gonna do much else. Alright. As you are feeling your emotions and repeating them in your mind, you get the feeling that you were heard and you get a sense of relief. So what would everyone else like to do? Well, Barmos is going to be uh, telling Amelia what he learned mid eat he's like chowing down on like a a piece of toast well like and it was so crazy and i saw this crazy thing <laughs> <laughs> okay so you're just explaining to amelia your your encounter the black fog isn't actually shamal's but something else caused it so then all of the rumors were incorrect. She couldn't keep it up after death. This fog is spread by someone or something else. Hi, Jack. I mean... I suspect it might have something to do with the one who spread the prophecy of the end times. He would be the perfect scapegoat. I mean, she used fog. Indeed. Perhaps the poisoner doesn't really exist. But didn't you say okay. something That's about strange. her husband? Wasn't it her that did that? Sadius the liar? Yes.
if I recall, didn't Shamal murder him? That's what they thought, right? But trickster, I, we the trickster gods. You could, you might be able to throw some conjecture in there. There is a possibility it could be him. If I know anything about my mythos, or it could mm. be that uh, someone's using him as an excuse to hide a cult of some sort. The personality. Uh, but yes. Puppeteering, perhaps? She, uh, kind of thinks for a moment. Then. I don't know. It seems like she's being framed, even in death. Like someone's mocking her almost. Indeed. I mean, someone who did this obviously didn't like her to an extent. I mean, it would make sense, you know, as someone she was once close to or something. At least they think so. We might be on the right track here. I don't know. I'll have to report this. Yes, that would that would be for the best. Okay. Thank you for this information. All right. So I'm guessing everyone else is now heading to uh, a place the the inn. Yes, that's what it is. After, after some time, he eventually. And so serious, we're forgetting words. I mean, after some time, he eventually get, comes back to the to in, the inn to catch up. Okay. So eventually, after some time, you all have finished your respective doings. You return to the inn. There's a few more people in this inn now. Uh, some celebrating and others just more or less keeping to themselves or cheering on the, the people who are jumping off tables and face planting. You know, typical thing. Typical inn <laughs> business. Exactly. And the barkeep is just eating it up. I mean, he's laughing at the whole situation. Oh, to be, oh, to be a goblin, just hold, oh, holding it in. He lives a great life. Armos will be approaching the uh, bar stand. Yeah, what can I get you? Beer. Okay, sure. Oh my god, we started an arc, he started drinking. <laughs> okay, so he gets you a beer. Hands it to you. That'll be, uh, two copper. Barmo sets down four. Oh, you want another one? Yes, please. Okay, gotcha. Here feels your glass. Drinking as Barmo is drinking away. I'm going to sit at the table where I imagine there is a, a group of us and um, just sort of plop his head down. I have um, communed what is necessary. I am still not sure how to approach what I know about what happened. However, I have come here only to solve what has come become of this world. And if it is believed to be the right step, I have accepted it. However, I wish to see what is next in our whatever the solution is. You're saying this to Oberon? Uh, to the table, everyone. He's okay. 
completely understand. Has he's gotten there? Uh, Obsidian is just going to sit at the table for a moment. I. This this went from following a, a trail of information to getting caught up in fuck knows what. I I don't even know at this point. I think it's this, kind of out of my league. This is where it's real. You either stay or you go. I am not going to be a part of any of those decisions. But I know I'm, I'll be the one at least one that is going to stay. I have come out here for a very specific purpose. You could call it divination. I wasn't made aware of what it was. I was made aware that it is and came out here seeking answers. And in that you are all part of that solution, so I followed. However, it seems we have stumbled into our first consequence. And I wouldn't begrudge anybody who decided that their, their goose is cooked. Barmos would, uh, sit down at the table with his two beers and then chug the first one. Wow. And then say, with resolve in his eyes, despite being inebriated through alcohol, resolve and sacrifice are needed for knowledge. We can agree anything. on one thing. This is That's going to take resolve. Content. And not everyone has that. And, you know, that's really the long and the short of it. Um, Ugh, bad drink. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're definitely starting to feel a little tipsy. I, in all likelihood, my next steps as somebody who is going to be here, no matter what the steps are next, I think the next goal might be to, to talk to royalty in this region, let them know what's happening, and then... Um, making my way toward um, the next place. Because I got my answers here. Amelia's... Oh. Go, next? go ahead. Do we have a lead? Um, I wouldn't say that we do, Rose. We know... Ties of betrayal. We know Shamal isn't entirely a part of it anymore. We know that the only the person that knows the most right now sacrificed a lot to get there. That is what we know. And while I don't think every thing that we lose is going to be quite as paramount as whatever left Barmos's body, there are bound to be many more losses. That is what I know.
Oh. Was there inf any information gained about the people who threatened the mage in Alvarfell? Oh, they you're asking. Uh... It was like a conspiratorial thing. Um, may there were people that were going in that were seek purposefully like book burning, so to say. Yeah. I have yet to know if the book burning was literal or rhetorical. Covering tracks, so to speak. Best yeah. Is with in... those people, then. I mean, I guess you'd be right. But we already have someone that's tracking the steps on that. I think Good. the king is very much going to be... I think last we talked with him, that was his goal. And we are currently in contact with him. However, I guess our goal is to solve problems where and when they occur. I guess we have to track down where this black fog is and try to stop people from dying since we're already exposed, so to say. That sounds like a plan. So, yeah, it seems like two people are in. What about you, Russ? This, the circumstances of this are most dire. I would think I should stay to make sure that a solution is found. I assume the consequences are quite dire. I imagine, although you would sacrifice a lot, maybe you can bring solace to whoever you have left at home. That is very noble of you. Thanks. Um, so Amelia is going to just say, well, I kind of have a job to do, so I figure regardless of what happens, I kind of have to see this through. And also, it sounds pretty cool. cool. We'll take it. It's not really the word I'd use. But... I mean, it's new to me, I think. And if we all work together, we can do it. I'm sure. A level of uh, naivete. No, not naivete. Just optimism. Optimism is veiled naivete. <laughs> but. Well, if you put it like that. In any case, I'm glad you are willing to accept the circumstances of what may be next. All that's left is to move forward. What of you, Obsidian? What are your thoughts? <laughs> I... I came for information. Looking for it. And, uh... I... I think I've just... I'm trying to find coal in a gold mine, so to say. We understand. Obsidian. To be honest, even if I don't do what I came here for, if I end up dying, over something that's way over my head. Hopefully it's for a good cause, right? One would only hope, but that's not a guarantee. She orders a drink and chucks it down. Farmos takes his second. Rolling. Okay, she's good. And I'm out. You're drunk. Oh, You're definitely down. drunk. <laughs> um, Obsidian is a... 
I'm going to wipe your mouth of the foam. I... I am not normally used to this whole group thing. At least in the long run. But it looks like you guys can use an extra hand and... Fuck it. I'm in. And that is acceptance of what is next. I think. Yeah. We ought to start getting moving post haste. How much time has passed? Uh, since you all have left the uh, the whole uh, oh goodness. The, the practitioner area, excuse me, don't have an actual name for it because, academy. yes, academy. Yes, my brain is malfunctioning because having to think about all those things have caused brain rot in other areas. Anyways, <laughs> um, I, since you all have left, though, I, you arrived there, let's say about eight. And you left about, let's say right now it's about three. We should still have time to see the king. And I think this time we have a real reason not to give a fuck. So... And I step up off the chair and start walking. So you are heading to Alvarfell. I am going... I was planning on first stopping by Ardle Wonders Royalty before heading to Alvarfell to see if we can update him on the situation. Because this happened here. Uh, now there is something I would say. There is no king. The... A parliament? <laughs> Yes, yeah. I, I'd say that's the closest you'd get. I, I wish to I seek the council. <laughs> <laughs> I am the council. Show me the Senate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, not the Star Wars show. <laughs> um, anyways. Execute. Order 66. Execute Order 66. Uh, oh, well, getting a bit too deep there. <laughs> anyway, 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 okay. I'm, I'm looking for the biggest royalist looking building. Easy peasy. It looks like a fucking skyscraper. That'll do it. <laughs> uh, so you all are heading there right now. I am. I don't know about anybody else. I'm just, I just started walking. Okay. Well, allow me to end this session here. And we will continue that in the next one. Sounds good. Yay. Yeah. So, what did you all think? I think uh, Barmos just sold his soul. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's my takeaway. <laughs> Selling the soul for answers three. And then it was like not very useful information in my opinion. <laughs> I disagree. I, it's I, actually incredibly useful. It's subjective. It's, it's <laughs> you not useful conventionally. There is definitely a lot of pieces that are thrown around now. <laughs> the next goal is to apply practically what we've learned. All I'll say is that whenever you're someone or something that has all of the answers, typically not good just to give straightforward answers it's yeah, best to the thing as well. get them to 
come back. I mean, if you're unsure, there are always other things you can do. Oh, no, I'm not falling for that one. <laughs> no, sir. <sorry. laughs> one and done. <laughs> one pump chump. Oh, my. You're not going to go start finding other souls? <laughs> You what, would what, you rather you... I sell your soul too? No, I don't know. I'm just I'm just putting thoughts in your head, you know? This ain't a game of soul poker from JoJo's. I'm not gonna sell my mother's soul as well. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. My mother's soul. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> For the matter, I I think I think that was about as many answers as you were going to get. Especially in the scenario in which you didn't do that. I don't know if you made the right decision, but I know you certainly made one. <laughs> Definitely. And, um, I think it was probably healthy for the party, because now we know there are consequences. Mm. Who knows there weren't already. Dun, dun, dun. Damn. Anyways, to that end, everyone, I hope you all enjoyed this. And as always, until next time, everyone, hope you all have a magnificent day. Goodbye for now. Later. <laughs>